Ty Floyd is chunking today for LSU. Go three pitches. Rios hits one deep. This ball is rising, tracking, and into the right center field bleachers. Rios looked at a off-speed pitch to start and then hammered the next pitch into the right field bleachers, and it's 1-0 Central Connecticut as Rios homers for the second time this year. Covered up, or ear holes that are covered up with the uh, tape. We'll get to that story in a moment. You did some research before the game. Uh, you can't find it. And the left fielder is diving for it, and it's off his glove. The center fielder could not find the ball in the sun. He was desperately calling for help. The left fielder, Hussey, came over. The offense relaxed, and they went on to score eight more runs. Cruz launches this one. It's rising as it goes to the left center field wall. Morgan will score. Cruz is on his way to second. He stumbles. He's going to have to scramble back to third. It looks like he's not hurt, but he stumbled around the bag. And I am. Maybe. How far will this go? You can pucker up and kiss that baby goodbye. Tommy White, who hit 27 of them last year, homers for the first time in an LSU uniform. An opposite field drive into the right field bleachers, and here come the Tigers in the bottom of the first. Well, in the seventh game of the year for Tommy White, he finally hits his first homer. I know LSU fans thought we might see that first one come a little sooner, but that's got to feel pretty good for Tommy White. Crab claw. Neal, who was at the plate, a liner to left, and the young Paxton Kling has a base hit. He was asked to bunt and then got a pitch he liked. He came into the game batting 400, and this time Woo. he hits one high and very deep, way, way, way back off the scoreboard. His fourth home run of the year, and you can pucker up twice and kiss that baby goodbye. The wind was not in his favor. He beat it anyway. Morgan pulls one into the right field corner. He rounds first. Morgan is on his way to second. And he'll stop right there as he slides in with his second double of the game. Four. Oh, that time he's, he's hit. 384. That's, that's what I'm, that's my guess. We'll get the track, man. The bunt is on. There will be no play at the plate. The out is made at first base, but Jordan Thompson is able to bunt and push across the run from third base. That was a bit of a safety squeeze. Ran correctly down the base path. And a hot ground ball winds up in the glove of short at second. They nearly threw it away at first base, but it is the third out. So Jobert rolls out as it will be LSU and Central Connecticut again. Let's see if anybody can catch up to it. It will stay in the ballpark, and it's grabbed by Pasqualini, the center fielder. And moving up from first base on a heads-up play is Brady Neal. I mean, this is in the Guinness Book of World Records. Nice stab by the third baseman. Can he get to first in time? No. A run scores. Gavin Dugas rams one off the glove on the backhand side of the third baseman. Redahan, after an infield hit, is on the move. And it's ball four. That ball is going to roll all the way back to the screen, and a run score standing up. That's Dugas. Whether there's going to be a 10 run rule or not. And they elected. With White goes the other way with authority, wow. and this is his second home run of the day. Pucker up and kiss it goodbye one more time. Tommy White twice has gone to right field, and he brings in more runs with home run number two this afternoon. I had a feeling once that first one came, that second one would uh, follow a lot quicker than six plus games. You know, that's that's. More might go to. Yeah. Like to get six innings out of Ty Floyd. He's been efficient. That's a fair ball over the bag at third. Kling is digging for second base. Neal has rounded third. 
Kling is on his way to third. He makes it standing. You do not often see triples hit to the left side. That's his second triple of the year, and boy, can he really run. And the Tigers are plunked again. Unblown double and a legitimate double. And now he's three for three. He also has walked. Morgan drives in Kling. One hopper to the left side and a high throw. But the first baseman Jimenez is able to come down with the heave by Redahan. Buchek hits White. That's the second time he's been hit. And the fourth bruise of the day on a Tiger. Beloso double last night. He drives one deep, deep. You can pick her up and kiss that baby goodbye. Kane Beloso, one of the most popular players in recent years at LSU, drives one into the right field bleachers, and he will get a very enthusiastic welcome from his teammates. three times on walks. Can anybody get to it? The left fielder overruns it and then Hussey lunges back. Here's the throw at second, safe on a close play there. Ground ball left side. There's no play anywhere. Brady Neal nearly got caught rounding third. The play was behind him, the shortstop was trying to sneak up on him and scored later and then an infield hit right here and uh, another plunk job that's five in the league and hit by pitches. Neal did not recognize that ball had gotten by the catcher but he still scores easily. He bangs one to right and that is over the head of the right fielder. It'll roll up against the wall. Fry cranks one and winds up at second base. That's one home run that year, which had never been done before or since. Out on a very close play at first. A 3-1 put out, and that retires the side. Ooh, maybe. Up against the top of the wall. The Tigers came close to hitting their fifth home run. And then a rare Monday evening game. That'll start at 6.30. He rolls that one through the right side. Travinsky rounds third. Here's the throw. It's cut off. And the Tigers indeed score in every inning. It's ball four. The inning. Malazzo sends it out to center field. This should be deep enough to score the runner from third. Peloso tags, and the throw is cut off on the infield. So Malazzo with an RBI sacrifice fly to center field. That would come into play in the top of the seventh. That rolls through to center field. Stevenson with a base hit. Here's the throw to third. It's late, and the Tigers keep rounding the bases. Stevenson with an RBI single. And a smash to deep center field. It's caught near the warning track by Pasqualini, but plenty deep enough to score the runner, Nipolt, from third. So a sacrifice fly by Merrifield. Rare. And he hits this solidly. That's down in front of the left fielder. Fry will pick up another run batted in. The throw to the plate is off the mark. Fry moves up. On the non catch at the plate. And Fry has hit a couple of uh, balls well today, Ronnie, in relief. He really has. Plate. An RBI single for Fry. Well, he's had a couple of base hits now, and now there's a throw away at third. Fry gets up and he'll stroll in. And the carnage continues. Fry, four for seven on the year with for the season, which was the worst in the SEC. There's a stinger in the left field. Travinsky rams one through the one one pitch. Smashed off the glove of the first baseman. It's a fair ball. 
Beloso makes the big turn at first. He decides to retreat, and he drives in another run, and he is swinging a golden stick right now. And playable by Hussey in left field as he retreats and moves to his left. And that will do it. Anything but giving up 16 runs will uh, this ball it'll be <laughs> the game will be over. Well that's going to be an infield hit up the middle. By the way the, the Polt went to his left but couldn't couldn't grab it and throw it. To be whether it's the second starter third starter doesn't matter. He, he's a guy making it in on the weekend and will give you a good solid effort four out of every five times he goes to the mound. And now the bases are loaded with nobody out. Let's see if Collins can mail in a strike. Two singles, two walks. Ground ball up the middle to second for one. The relay to first base is not in time. The Tigers get an out on the force on a 6 4 play. The Polk to. Gidry and if you're in the area and want to see that game it will be free admission. That's a wild pitch another run scores. Rounding right side Beloso's got it he spins he throws to Collins covering and there's the second out. Nicely done on the right side of the infield. Nepolt over to first base. And this game is over. A 6-3 put out to close it.